Nick was going to run in. He starts with a Sheevas gun. He needs to go for the Vag, but the Hex. Actually gets it actually stopped him, but Loader jumps in with a BKB. And he takes the Aegis. the Aegis to the Immortal, but can he get out of this one safely? The Song of the Siren is allowing him to isolate him out, but the Song of the Siren will now wear off. Nikwa into that back wall. So we've got a couple of copies. Sonic Wave does some decent damage here, at least gets rid of one of the illusions. Loader so slowed up. Loader, yep, he's able to get the crush and big shackle. Big one from Pycat. Locking two of them in. Man within the fall. He focused finest down the Naga Siren, but the Shallow Grave from Vanscore. Perfect positioning, he'll sacrifice his life and avoid his quill sprays. They're really starting to stack up. Nikora and Pycat, they're not looking healthy. Nikora is in fact gonna go down with one more quill spray. It won't take much. He's very, very low and now... No! He backs him on the cliffs! They can't go anywhere! They can't go anywhere! The blink down, maybe there is from Phobos. But the surge quickly away from Nikwa. Nico, I don't know how he's managed to survive from this one. He's able to ensnare up on Nikwa. Pycat sees him, power shot to get the vision. But Denny, Phobos and Snako have surrounded this Wind Ranger. Wind Run will keep him up as now Nikwa jumping in with the Iron Shell damage. Sonic Wave doing very minimal damage here. And the Sheevan Scars make it very difficult as well for Phobos to get out the fan score. Oh, that's not where he wanted to be. Oh over. my god, he passed the cheese over. Did he? He actually, got, he actually got it over to him. Nikwa, he's still trying to fight the Hex, the living armor. He's living on 100 HP. He'll finally, well, actually, no, he's still not going to drop. Lowe's behind him, a boss. Lucky he didn't get his own teammate shackled there. If they call the GG. Dendi is actually able to get they a lot of press on him. With this illusion room from Seneko, he can let that tank up the tower for a little bit longer, allowing for the stun. Seneko, wow, actually, he's no. going to get healed. Oh, my. Well, won't be able to do so right away. The shackle going to miss, and zai has got an RP, though. Looking for that onto Pycat, maybe an obscure back. Kuro, Light Striker A is there. RP, going to be used. Pycat being healed up by the overcharge as well. So, Wisp on the higher ground. Oh, Sonic Wave goes through, gets S4. Pycat's still alive. The screen comes out. It's a double kill for Pycat. He wants more. He wants Zai and Zai. Out of mana, running out of HP. We'll see if oh, they got a score. Do you think it might? They catch out S4. Can they burst him down before the split comes into play? The arrow is there. Buy and back oh, on oh, S4. Down goes your Brewmaster. He's going to buy back and he may have to use it. We'll throw it out. The Requiem BKB from Arteezy. That's a dead Wisp and Loader now. Not sure that's going to be enough. He's coming back up and there's a black hole waiting for him. Uh, they're going to throw this one out. Loader turns, gets a toss on Arteezy. The Avalanche is there. That's your buyback from your Wisp. Ravage catches out too. Black hole from Puppy. Just on the Loader. The plane breaks there. Nice play from Nikwa. Good positioning. Click onto the high ground from Pycat. It's going to bring down your puppy Enigma, and now the rest of the heroes trapped on the low ground. Pycat and BKB just going in on Zai. He wants the tide. He goes back to the high ground now with that full stop, but he's going to do down in the end. That's going to be a dieback from S4 if he can't get out of this one. Flame break will push him back. And now the brain snap. Right click damage. Pycat with an ultra kill.